Um, we are doing a youth project with the Shire of Morawa for their youth week where we're doing Bark on Wheels. So if you guys haven't seen before or if you guys already know, bike boat. Um, sort of going to a similar look like that. Bold, bright, colourful out there. They're going to have some drug awareness slogans on them and they're going to be placed either in the town. Um, so today I've got joined, we've got Trent, Jacob, Tyson and we've got Christine. Christine is... What are you to the Shire? I'm the Community Development Officer. So, Christine has been a big part of this as well. We've both been behind the scenes, figuring out the grant and everything. Um, we've got local artist Shah from Geraldton coming down, who's been in Marawa before and regularly. Um, he's coming down, he's going to help us do some graph on this. But really for today, we're just prepping the car. So we'll sand it back, not, not 100%, but scuff it up so some paint can stick to it and then we'll mask it up and have it ready so when Shah comes over on the 11th, 12th, 11th, 12th and 13th and um, he'll come down and we'll do some graph on it and put him on either end of town. So I hope you enjoy this video, we'll get into some time lapses of all of us pitching in and sanding this back so yeah we'll get into some of that. I don't know how to explain it. 
when you're doing a big area or, or you want to do a fast section, you get a bit fast with the can. Mm -hmm. Yes. What what have we done to the cars? We've added details and improved them. Yep. And they look pretty cool, don't they? Yes. Happy with how they turned out? Yes. Excited to see them on the side of the road? Yes. Awesome. Well, thank you for jumping on in front of the camera. Thank you for participating. And we'll, uh, we'll get the next person to jump on. Alright, you guys. So, we've got Crow here. You guys should all know Crow. Oh, you should all have seen him from the channel at least once. Um, Crow is one of our local burnout drivers and good mate of On The Slides. So, what have you learnt from this experience, Crow? What have you taken out from it? Uh, well, um, Chase Weeks and I'll start. Um, it's, been, it's been a busy one, eh? Yeah, it's been a busy two days for me, but you guys have done the most work. Like, you know, you just sanded it down. Yeah, a lot, a lot of it. sanding went into these yeah. cars, and into yeah. the project. A lot of details went into these cars too, guys. Like, you know, give it a thumbs up when you, when you can. Um, going on, on, the, on the Sly Motorsports Media. Oh, and the designs are for uh, healthware and drugware. Um, yeah. uh, you can yeah. see in the background here on the car. We've got, we got one here that says, drugs are bad, kids are mad. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, this one here was blind, that's what the younger kids did. And then we've got the four that me, Chase, and Trent Tyson, Tyson, Tyson all, all, and the, all the older kids sort of kids did. focused on that one. Yeah, so. Uh, it went pretty alright, it was pretty fun. Had a fun time? Yeah. yeah. It was awesome, <coughs> man. Uh, you, you had the joy of having your young one down here? Yeah, having my young one down here for like a couple of days. Now he's gone back to Jero, so he enjoyed it. It's he good had, to see you brought him down and yeah. he, he enjoyed what he was doing. Yeah, bonding with yeah. him at the moment. That's it. Good, some memories. But yeah, other than that, it was, it was a blast. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. It was fun. Come on, um, yes, yeah. I came up with the snake ideas. Um, the snake on one car, which will take. You'll, you'll see in the video. You'll, yeah, you'll see it. Uh, did the snake. Uh, Sorry about the truck. Yeah. Um, did a few on here. Yeah, no, there's uh, some really good ideas bit, from yeah, all, all the kids all and on it, everyone eh? involved. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's good. Well, yeah. thanks for being part of it, Crow. Thanks for. Thanks for doing the out. interview, man. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Alrighty, guys. So we've got Christine here. Joined us now. Um, she's been away doing some outlining. It's uh, good to see that it's all coming together. It's been one hectic two weeks, uh, I'd say, um, with everything that's been going on. So um, Christine is the community community development officer over at the show here. Um, and we've been working hand in hand with getting this project up and going and I'd say it's been a big success. Um, and there was times where we thought we weren't going to get it done or um, it wasn't going to turn out how we sort of had planned it to turn out, but it has. Yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. good to see that. Um, so we'll get started off with what, what was the idea of having this event, having this project? Well, um, I have only recently started at the Shire and I haven't had a chance to get to know many of the young people um, before Christmas and then yep. I met you on Australia Day yep. where you were the Youth Citizen of the Year and so you were one of the first young people that I met and had yep. a good chat with and shortly after that we had uh, opportunities to apply for Youth Week grants and so I came and had a chat to you and said, well with the burnout group that you've got and you know, there's a whole range of artistic endeavours that we can do. I think initially we were talking about doing some like mechanical work and yeah. filming it. Yeah. And, and then we thought actually it will be a lot more of a broader appeal if we introduce an art element to it where people can, <coughs> of all sort of art levels from, you know, fine stenciling to um, outline and then also the creativity of seeing what ideas come yeah, from definitely. the young people in Morrow. There, there was quite a few ideas that come from a lot of people here. It was good to see, you know, when we had a brainstorm session that we all had some great ideas that we could pop off and shoot off and project on these cars. Yeah, and I think it's also, um, you know, it's, it's an interesting uh, 
pastime or, or like hobby or you know passion to be really interested in in burnouts and cars and particularly as young people hit those later teen years it's harder to find positive things to engage with so I think there this is. is a really good way to showcase something that's happening in town that that uh, creates positive opportunities for people to do something that's um, you know recreational and and um, you know something that you're into, yeah. something that gives you a bit of a buzz but also is healthy and um, this way we can showcase that. So we had a lot of support with this and a lot of things came together. Um, we applied through uh, the Regional Arts at WA for a Drug Aware Y Culture grant and Y Culture offer up to $6,000 for um, young people to come up with their own projects and so we were really fortunate um, to have Chase as one of our project organisers. He's really been the brains behind all of this and I've done a lot of urban art projects but we've never done cars and so there's a whole element of prep that I did not anticipate with cars. No, it, it's, it's <laughs> a whole, it's um, different to, you know, as you were saying, you, you've done bus stops before. It, yeah. It's a whole different prep situation to do a bus stop than, than a car. And, and in comparison, we've done probably twice as much prep in hours compared to the, um, so two thirds has been prep and one third has been paint, yeah. painting. So there's been a lot of behind the scenes work that you won't see on the finished product. And as a public art piece, you know, public art is um, something that's always going to be eye-catching, abstract. It's a talking piece, it, it, it'll create conversation, it'll hopefully be a bit of a tourist attraction. We've got two spots where these are going to go out in the, in the main street. One's going to be near, um, alongside the Whitty Meyer Trail, and the other one's going to be near one of the uh, main uh, visitor bays just close to it. So there's going to be opportunity for people to go walk around the cars, check it out, see all the detail in there. There is. There's um, a, a broad animal theme that's come through. So we've yeah. got the snake, yep. the the redback spider. Redback. That was that was my idea actually. It was oh, a yeah. bit of a doodle yep. that came out and then uh, got incorporated. We've got the Morrowa tigers on this one. Yeah. So we've um, so, yeah. There's a lot of things. Sort of sat down and redesigned, or well, didn't really redesign it, but brought in the aspect of the Holden logo with the uh, Holden Racing Team logo theme because you know it's a tiger line where that's who we are over here and then just have the racing aspect to it for the speedway and the burnouts so it all come together really good I reckon. Yeah so yeah we had drug aware support we had health waste support we also had some support from Give It um, who donated a spray gun and some paint which um, is really lovely. Uh, we had Shirley and Peter Turner donate a uh, vehicle for us so Really appreciate that. Thank you yep. to them as well. That was on behalf of Laurel Speedway. That was, way. yes. Um, and who else did we have involved? We. Um, I've also, you know, I've had myself on the slide, but I've also had a lot of people that from on the slide that have jumped in um, and helped out behind the scenes with little bits and pieces here and there with the cars, like you know, um, the Falcon. One point, um, at the windows were down, so I had Joe come around and me and Joe. Spent the afternoon and put all, all the windows up in the Falcon and all of that. So you know, it's a lot of people behind the scenes to thank, and we all really appreciate and support it. So thanks, guys. And finally, a big thanks to the Shire of Moral as well yeah. for all of, um, I guess, the the trust and the vision behind uh, what we were hoping to create. Not, here. not just that, um, we got shed. <laughs> um, so it, the project was meant to happen outdoors and in the weather and. That's one thing we didn't take into account no. was how bad the weather was going to be when we started. So well, it was 40 degrees when it we was, were planning it. It was. It was 40 <laughs> degrees when we were planning it. And then come to the day of starting prep on the cars, it was bucket down to the rain. So the Shire had actually said there's a shed free that we could use. And we took that offer up. And yeah, so big thanks to the Shire. Yeah. Um, he's been our number one supporter. And I really do appreciate We all really do appreciate it. So yeah, thank you. Oh, and thanks to everyone. Yeah, everyone. everyone. And Sha and... Yep. It's, it's been, been a big really help and it's all come together quite nice. Thank you. You're welcome. How are you today, Trent?
tired, tired after the past couple of days. Yep, it has been. Um, how have you enjoyed your experience down here? Oh, loved it. Loved it. Learnt a lot. Yeah. Gonna take a lot <laughs> of it and put all this thought and everything into your own skid car? Possibly. Possibly. No? That's good. It's yeah. good that um, we've got Shah down here because, you know, a lot of us who are starting to really take it up a notch with how our cars will, um, we can learn a lot from this workshop and this project and go and imply it or take everything and all the knowledge that we know from the past couple of days and do it our own cars. So, yeah. Um, what have you learnt through this experience and what's been your most enjoyable moment? Oh, my most enjoyable moment was just painting. Yeah. Yeah. And learnt distancing with the spray paint cans. Yeah. The closer you go, the finer it is. Yep. But more risk of drips. Yeah, it definitely has with a uh, war moment, I think. Well, no, it's, it, it's good that you enjoyed yourself. Thanks for coming along and being part of it. It's all been one great success. So, yeah, thank you. So we're joined with Tyson now. How's your three days going? You've been part of this since... Yeah, it was pretty fun. Oh, it's and Trent, sorry, but um, you've been here since the start yeah. of it. Um, how, how do you feel from where we were at the beginning? So it now being the last day, how, how's yeah, all the emotions feeling? It's pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. It's been a roller coaster, hasn't it? Yeah. The cars look a bit different. They do. They they, they look a lot different. Yeah. It's um it's really good to see. Enjoyed it. Yeah. Had fun. No, that's good. Yeah. Wait. What's been your most memorable moment of this yeah. event or project? Sorry. Probably sanding it back. Sanding it. Yeah. Yeah, that was killer, wasn't it? A good couple of weekends. And I think we all gained some muscle over that. Um, yeah, we had really gained some muscle. Um, anything that you've learned from this experience? Probably had a lot of sand. How to sand. Yeah, I think we'll all have a lesson 101 in sanding. It was a lot. Well, uh, thanks for joining along. Thanks for being Thanks for being part of the team, really appreciate it. I did most of it. <laughs> We're joined with Sydney. Um, Sydney's only been here yesterday and today, um, but she's, from the moment she was here, she's been all hands on deck and hands in it. Um, how have you enjoyed your past few days here? Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, it's fun, something different to do in the town. Yeah, no, it is, because there's, there's not a lot to do here, so having these workshops where we can, you know, we can get a local artist from Geraldton to come down and do something with the kids is good. It's not something different, isn't it? Yeah. What 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 have you learnt out in this experience? Probably how to spray paint. How to spray paint? Yeah. Yeah. It's cool when you to see you freehand all this stuff. It is, isn't it? It's cool to see someone else be able to work. And I'll see these cars. One of them, I'm not some town most of the time. So yeah. From Gerald. Yeah. What's been your most memorable moment? Um, I don't know, just everyone getting together and making something cool. Yeah. Oh, cool. Well, thanks for being a part of it all. Thanks for coming down and joining in. Yeah, we appreciate it. Alrighty, guys. So, we're joined with Bree. Um, Bree Same has put them. in a lot of hours um, into this project. Yeah, Bree's put a lot of hours into this project. Um, she's been here from day one, and every time that we've asked for people to come back, she's always come back. Um, so how's, how's your experience been here? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. You, you've done a lot of sanding yeah. over the past few days, and then to back it up with a lot of painting, how's it all feel to do, do that all? Different to what I usually do. Yeah. Um, gives me experience. Yep. No, cool. You've learned a lot through doing this? Yeah. A lot that you reckon you'll do later in life? Possibly, yeah. Possibly. What's been your most memorable moment while doing this? Probably everything. Everything? Yeah. No, cool. Well, uh, thank you for all your hard work and thank you for participating. We, uh, we all really appreciate it. Hi right, guys, so we have Shah here. Shah is a local artist from Geraldton. Shah's been 
to my uh, once or twice before. This is the second time. Second time. Yeah. Um, I remember I was about, I think it was 14. I'd done my first workshop with Shah, and I thought no better person to get back down than the man who's been here before. So, how have you enjoyed this whole experience of coming back down tomorrow? Ah, uh, love it. Love the fly. Love the fly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the flies have been. I thought the flies disappeared, but they're all stayed here waiting for us to accompany them. So yes, they have. I think they love us too much. Yeah, no, definitely. They're the main supporters. Yeah, yeah. they are, definitely. Don't worry about other kids. No, nah, just the, the flies. Yeah. No, but the experience is great. Always a uh, great opportunity to express my art work on this kind of level as well. I've done buses and vans on my own. Uh, it's good to have like teamwork as well with this one. So, uh, and of course there's a whole culture behind us as well with yep. Chase's um, crew on the sly, kind of funny <coughs> that word. Yeah. The sly. Um, yeah, Murrah, as we know, is it's a small little town, but there's, there's things are happening and it's always happening when, when it comes to the art workshops and youth work. I uh, appreciate uh, all the support as well with the community and the parents that came through and given, given that, okay, yeah, kids going to do some spray painting. Yep. But um, as an art facilitator, it's important to, to have the, the genre, or not even the genre, like the, the age group that are, is appropriate as well. Because if it's too young, they, they won't be able to yep. hold the, 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 can, um, the can. And to have you know, role models and leaders as well in the town to showcase how to do it, not to do this, not to do that, it's really helpful for me. You know, um, but it's, it's really good because you know I've got heaps of stuff to do, like stencils and all that kind of stuff. And it's good to have Chase and his uh, crew to handle some of the young crew. As long as I show my bit, and then the rest they'll they'll drift off. Yep. So let's talk about what you do. So. You have a Facebook page, Shah's Art Studio. What is it that you do? I do freelance art. Um, it covers canvases, banners, anything that paint that goes on. Uh, sheds, murals in your in your bedroom. Uh, You've done our local bedroom. skate park. You've done a mural yeah. for us. So coming back here, uh, do Center organised me for art workshops. So skateboards, we did hits of them. After school gig the skate park and a mural. Yep. So that was no, eight years ago. Yeah, about a yeah. long time ago. Yeah. So I think time for time for a fresh year on there. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's looking, a, looking a bit sad, but yeah. I reckon we can fix it up. But this is, you know, I don't have to give out cards like a business person does. Once I put my artwork or someone wants my artwork, then that's my business card already. Yeah. So yeah. If, if you wanted a little canvas, then someone go to your house who did that and blah 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 it just goes on like a, like a ripple like that yeah. so with this one it's advertised both ends of the town um, really eye-catching hopefully you'll you'll stay focused on the road yeah but hopefully yeah hopefully I haven't made it yeah. too eye-catching to where yeah. your uh, main focus is on the other car but but it is you know focus on the detail you can see the detail on it um, with the stencil and even freehand style uh, sticky tape little you know, everyday things, but um, the concept as well, I love the concept how it is, the brainstorming was tricky, um, trying to get stuff out of people's heads, yep. but little sketches here and there does help. Overnight, I'll have a look, and then bring it all together, and voila. Yeah, yeah. I mean, where are we are today. We're doing these workshops and yeah. having these young kids and you know, teenagers like myself, or young adults like myself. Um, how does it feel for you to know that you're putting the, your knowledge and your experience into these kids hoping that you know maybe one day they're going to take what you've taught them and take it to a broader wider aspect out there in their future or you know just in their little hobby they're doing well the, the main surprise was that you contact features yeah you know you remembered from the workshop before your little chubby guy now he's skinny you've got mustache now look pretty cool with a mullet yeah and coming back you know and, and doing what I love doing, with you, you, you know, you've, yeah. you've established all this um, burnout uh, culture um, in a proper way, because it is, it's graffiti, you know. Yeah, graffiti can be berserk all over the place, but if you control it and have a more positive vibe to it, 
same thing with, with what you're doing. Yeah, that's then it. We could have achieved our yeah. goals, you know. Hundred um, percent. Knowing that when I when I do my workshops, I'm just sharing my passion, like I'm doing stuff in my shed, yep. in my studio, but sharing it with with others. And I know with spray can or Posca pens, young people relate to that because it is. Uh, Youth culture. It yeah. is embedded from um, youth, uh, yep. the graffiti element thing, uh, the culture. So putting that into these vehicles is sort of a. It makes sense. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. No, I understand. Yeah. Well, thank you for making the travel down and coming down all the way and supporting us and yeah. sharing your knowledge and feedback and helping us with these two cars. We That's really great. appreciate it. Awesome, thanks, Shah. Thank you, guys. Uh, yeah. Thanks for everyone. Morrow Shire. Christine and her crew, her hard work. Uh, yeah, God Almighty. is out towards going to Perindry. Um They turned out amazing guys, so I just want to thank the Morrow Shire, Shire from Geraldton for coming down, the youth of Morrow for helping out and getting involved, and all our sponsors that jumped on board. Um, without you guys, we couldn't have made it possible, so thank you. Um, so yeah, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys.